Good morning, freetradingvideos.com. This is Breakout Trader with the morning report. It is February 26th, 2009, and we have a pop in the market. We are up on the S&P futures, E-mini futures, 11 points, 1.5%. Up 95, 96 on the Dow right now, 1.3%. 14 points on the NASDAQ, 1.2%. Now, I would like to see the NASDAQ stronger. I'd like to see the NASDAQ leading these. That is not currently happening. We do have oil continuing its move up. 43.30 was a last trade. Up 80 cents this morning, 1.88%. This is a great thing. Closed out my naked puts yesterday for a very nice profit. Gasoline up. Another two pennies, $1.19. Uh, this has been up about 15, 16 cents over the last few days. Up another 2% today. This is good. Gold is down 26 points, 939. We've broken that 950 support. A lot of traders were looking forward to re-enter this position. So if we can continue that slide on gold, that means we've got money coming out of gold, coming back into the equity markets. We really haven't seen a lot of it yet because the equity market is still sitting in a consolidation. IBM's up 50, Chevron's up 40, and Exxon is up 56 this morning. So oil is lovely helping these two, and market move is helping IBM move up. As long as we can see this trend here continue, we can see the Dow continue to climb. And this is our gold ETF down 99 cents right now. So we are looking good. Okay, remember we need to follow the bank. We need to follow the transports. We need to follow uh, treasury note, follow the 10-year treasury note. It's a great one to follow as long as the 10-year treasury note, gold, and the US dollar continue their drop. That gives us probability we can see volume move into the bank, transports, and oil. If that takes place, well, the S&P down NASDAQ will move up. That's what we need to follow on market internals. Let's take a look at a chart. All right, here we are, daily S&P. Um, we need to really clear out of this area here. Okay, we, this is the 13... EMA right here, this green line right coming down through here. We need to really clear out. We need a really break break above that. We need a big, big move in this market today. So if we can get everything that I just took took you through uh, and clear out of this area here, we have potential then to maybe continue up, okay, depending on how much money comes out of gold, US dollar, and treasury notes, or we're going to hit ahead maybe on this resistance here to roll over and, and go back down. So at this point, I am long this market. Um, and we'll, we'll just take it as it comes to see what the sort of strength we have and money flows we have coming back into this equity market. So yesterday we can see decent volume on the candle yesterday. It was a volatile afternoon yesterday afternoon in the market. Crazy one. So we'll see where we're at. Let's have a look at the 60 minute real quick. We see this consolidation area all the way through here. Okay, that's what we need to get out of. Uh, this is also you know, here's one o'clock yesterday and then overnight trading here. We just need to clear out of this area, just get out of here and rock it. Um, let's have a look at a bit more data here. If we can get above this 785, clear this 795 area. Clear 795 would be great. That could get us up into the, around this 810, 820 mark. So there's a lot of overhead resistance, massive amounts of overhead resistance in this market. Okay, news. We have Nasdaq.com. Thursday, durable goods coming out at 8.30. That's going to have an effect here. Hopefully that can project the futures higher. That would be nice. Um, we don't know. Jobless claims is probably, it, it's a big one right now, jobless claims. I mean, that factors into the monthly unemployment situation report. And then new home sales come in at 10 o'clock. That'll have an effect on for the day traders. Thanks for attending freetradingvideos.com. Until tomorrow, break out.